Hey guys, how's it going? This helpful lock picker here, and in today's video, I'm going to try to answer a question that I get asked quite often. Can you get away with just buying a six pin version of the Lishi tool, or do you need to buy both the five and the six pin? So I just want to say that I'm really excited by this new tool that came out, which is the Lishi Standoff Spacer. This is a tool that you can 3D print yourself, and I'm going to show you how this is going to be part of the solution in just a second. Please stay tuned. So what is the Lishi Standoff Spacer? So this is a really cool tool that was developed by DV and Olam, which you can 3D print, and I'll put the link in the description below. And what it does is it serves as a spacer so that you can install it onto your Lishi tool, which I will do for you right here. And this is going to make it so that you can use a 6-pin Lishi on a 5-pin lock easily. Before this tool, I generally would not recommend that you use a 6-pin Lishi on a 5-pin, just because it was a little bit more cumbersome. But this really solves the problem, and it's going to really change my recommendation. So once you have the spacer installed, what you can do is you can take your lock, and it can take a little bit of force, but you're just going to push it down, and you're going to see that it's going to sit right on the shoulder here. So what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that we are going to skip position 1 on our Lishi tool. And when we go to pick and decode, position 2 is now going to be position 1. So we're just going to call 2-1 and you're going to see that we're just going to skip all the way down. This is going to make it so that this is going to fit into your lock very easily. It's going to make it very easy for you to pick and decode. And let's check this out right now. All right, so I'm really excited by this setup and being able to share it with you. So what we have in front of you is the 6-pin Lishi SC4 2-in-1 pick and decoder. We have it installed into a 5-pin Schleg lock. We have the Lishi standoff spacer installed. We're going to remember that position 1 is going to be spaced out and we're not going to consider it. So let's get started right now. This is really starting to change my recommendation. I used to say you really should get both the 5 and the 6 pin, but I'm starting to think you can get by with just the 6 pin. That can save you a bunch of money and I'm really excited by that. So I'm going to put in some clockwise tension. Let's start in the very back here. In the very back we are getting a binder right away. I got a click and that feels set. Let's see in position 5. Let's go to four, three got a click, two got a click, and we opened up the lock. So I just want to say that this is a really cool tool, it works quite well, and it's able to open up the lock very easily. I got a very subtle feedback when I was in position five, um, but we did get the lock open, so that was interesting. But let's decode this and take a quick look. So we're going to need to remember that we're going to need to not look at position 1. So position 2 is actually going to be position 1. And when we take a close look, we're going to see that we are getting a 6 for the very first position. Then we're going to now move over to what would be position 2. And position 2 is reading right at the 7 mark. So that will be a number 7 cut. Now, this is going to be position 3, because we just need to remember that we are spaced out 1. So in position 3, we are going to be getting a 3 cut. Now, position 4, we are going to be looking right, we're going across that line right there, we're getting a 5 cut. And then let's go all the way to the back, which is going to be position 5. And we're going to get a 5 cut as well. So it looks like our bidding to this SC1 key is going to be 67355, and we can go through that one more time. But I just want to say that this is just really exciting that we are able to do this so easily with this really good tool. I just want to say, Deviant Olam, you did a really great job being able to design this and make it available to people to download. And I just want to say that this is a really good idea, and I want to say thank you for sharing this with the community and making it so available. But let's take out the tool. Let's lock the lock back up. And here is the key that the lock is pinned up to, and it does read 67355. We were able to see that we were able to decode that, but let's just pop this in the lock and see that we did a job well done. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you this week. This has been a really cool video on a really nice addition to the Lishi tool, which is going to be the Lishi standoff spacer. 
Once again, if you would like to check out the spacer tool, what I'm going to do is I will put a link to it in the video description below so you can get it 3D printed. If you'd like to purchase one of these, you can find it very easily on a quick search online. I just want to say thank you to everyone that checked this out. I am so happy to say officially that I do think I can recommend that you buy just the six pin version of the Leashy tool. This is doing a really great job. And I just want to say that this is exciting. But either way, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions or anything at all, please feel free to leave those right in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.